everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. I repaint dolls already for a couple of years, but strangely enough I've never tried to repaint a Barbie doll, so it's definitely time to start with. And for my first Barbie repaint, I have chosen not a simple doll, but such a big 17 inch beauty, because I have most fun lately working with the bigger dolls. So you can see she is so big that it's difficult to film the box, but for the rest it's a normal Barbie doll, I love their faces, but the proportions are a little bit scary, and I'm also very happy that this doll has bendable legs and arms, it's already a big plus point. You know, normally I cut dolls hair off and make a wig or reroute it, but this doll has very pretty and very long hair and I'm not a maniac to cut it off, so let's try to style her hair in some pretty way later. And for now let's remove her head, but first I need to make it soft with a hair dryer. This is quite a hard plastic, so I need to blow longer than I usually do with my Monster High dolls, and this time it took something about 5 minutes. Then I remove her original makeup with pure acetone, spray her face with 3 layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, and then I sketch her eyes with a brown watercolor pencil. I work like always with Faber Castell Albrecht Durer pencils. For the eyebrows, I use like usually Rembrandt soft pastels, and then I shape the eyebrows with a piece of an eraser. And now let's contour her face to give it more realistic dimension and shadows. I begin like always with light brown colors, but later I will go all the time a little bit darker, because I want to give her some healthy tan.
After a layer of light brown pastels, I apply a layer of pink pastels. For the eye crease, I use darker pink to imitate the eye shadows, and to the bottom eyelid and to the cheeks, I add light pink color. And now I think I want to make the eyeshadows a little bit more intense pink. I think I'm quite happy with her face color now, and I can finally take my pencils and start drawing. First I'm just blocking the main colors, and then I'm going to add all the time more and more details.
And then I start drawing her eyebrows and here it's very important to keep your pencils extremely sharp. I draw the highlights above her upper lip and then I color her lips with red soft pastels. Now let's work some more on her eye crease and the eyelids. I'm going to make the shadows deeper with brown and Indian red pencils. Then I'm going to work more detailed on the irises, add grey shadows to the white of her eyes and add some red pencil to the waterline. With the white pencil I block her smile and start adding creases to her lips. And then I'm working on her eyes again. Then I take a very light nude pencil and I start drawing highlights around her eyes.
Now let's take a grey pencil and split her teeth. You know, there is always some strange thing with the doll teeth. When I keep them just white without drawing separate teeth, I always get comments like, you should have drawn her teeth, such a smile doesn't fit her realistic look. But when I draw teeth, I also get comments from people who think that the teeth look weird or something else. And seeing there is absolutely no way to make everyone happy because we are all different and we all love different things, I will just do what seems right to me at the moment. There will anyway be someone unhappy, so I'm sorry guys. Now let's take a black pencil and draw the black eye lines, add some final shadows and highlights to her eyes and lips, and then I'm also going to draw the bottom eyelashes. Now her face is almost done and I just need to add some extra highlights to her eyes with white acrylic paint. And then it's time to work on her body. It should be the same color like her face, so first I'm sanding it with nail buffers to remove the glossy top, otherwise the new paint will come easily off. 
Then I remove all the dust, fat and dirt with an acetone-free nail polish remover. Then I spray it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then finally I color it with the same color pastels like I use for her face. And of course, in the end, I need to sign my work. Now I need to put the head and the body back together. I don't know, for the 17-inch Monster High doll, I cut this pin off, otherwise it was too difficult to put the head on. But this head is made with a softer kind of plastic, so I think I will just try to put it all together like it was. And for this I first need to make the hat and the plastic pin soft again with my hair dryer. Now let's brush her hair and style it in some way. I don't really like how those pink strands look next to her new realistic face. It looked good with her original style, but now it seems too cartoonish to me, so I think I will hide the pink hair and it will fit her better. And then I need just to attach the false lashes and to put glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. I couldn't get for a long time what was wrong with her proportions. Her legs are for sure too skinny on the bottom and her feet are too small. But there is something else wrong. And then I've decided to measure her body proportions in hats. A normal realistic figure is 7.5 hats tall, including the head itself. And now look here, this doll is just 5.5 hats big. Of course she looks disproportional, how else? Again some weird ideas of the doll makers. So I need to make a dress with a similar form like the original one. It will hide the unproportional short and skinny legs and feet and everything will look quite balanced. So let's make a pretty bridesmaid dress for her using such a peach color fabric and then decorate it with tiny flowers.
and here is my girl. I think she looks like she is ready for a wedding party. And with this dress you cannot really see that she has some serious trouble with her body proportions. And now I'm looking forward to hear your opinion and to read your comments about my doll. You know, I'm reading all the comments and I'm still trying to reply or at least to like the most interesting of them. Please support this video with a like if you enjoyed it and of course don't forget to subscribe my channel if you don't want to miss my new doll repaints every week Friday. All Instagram users can find more work in progress pictures on my Instagram page and thank you for being with me today, have a nice weekend and see you already very soon in my new video. Bye!